Hello and welcome back to Underlab. One character I haven't talked about a lot yet is Metaton. Despite him appearing at the end of every episode, he's the most glamorous show star underground, and perhaps the only show star underground. He has the biggest TV network underground, and perhaps once again, the only network underground. Metaton is the monster's sole star, which explains how he's able to pull in such a huge audience despite his sense of entertainment being somewhat odd. One of the longest standing mysteries in Undertale is what exactly Metaton was built for. It seems like the answer is obvious enough. He wanted a body, and so Alfie's built one. However, on the genocide path we hear conflicting information, and there's been far crazier theories proposed than what we're told in-game. Was he built so he could become a star? Was he built in order to kill humans? Or was it for another reason entirely? Well, there's only one way to find out, so let's review the facts. A long time ago Metaton wasn't the superstar celebrity that he is during the time that the events in Undertale take place. In fact, of all things, he was a ghost originally, a lot like Napsterbluk called the Mad Dummy. To go even further, Napsterbluk, whom Metaton refers to fondly as Blukey, is his cousin, if you didn't know. Metaton and his cousin always had musical talent, though Metaton wanted a lot more. He wanted to entertain the entirety of the underground. We learn all this through diaries found within Metaton's old home, where he lived before Alphys devised his robotic body. Sadly, he decided he was so desperate to become a star that he left Blukey behind when the chance to have a glamorous body that could make him famous arose. That's despite promising he had never abandoned the poor little ghost, which just goes to show how badly Metaton wished to be a star. So, it seems that Metaton's body was built in order to give him a shot at stardom, after he reached an agreement with Dr. Alphys. However, is that necessarily true? While there's no denying that it works, as Metaton is ridiculously famous by the time Frisk falls down, was that really the sole purpose of giving the ghost a robotic body? On the genocide path, Metaton tells us a different story. He claims that any true fan would know that he was originally built for purposes of human eradication, and that those features were never fully removed. This seems to contradict what we're otherwise told, and makes for quite the confusing backstory. On the pacifist or neutral path, Alfie's repeatedly six Metaton on us, having lied to us, telling the human that Metaton is an entertainment robot with anti-human features that's gone rogue. This obviously isn't true, as it's all part of Alfie's convoluted plan to befriend us, and Metaton is just playing along to make her happy. However, the story isn't difficult to believe. Our very first meeting with Metaton features him zapping us for half our health whenever we get a question wrong. Whatever weapon he's using there must be pretty powerful. Later on we see Metaton using a jetpack, and then finally we come to fight him, where it turns out he's able to summon smaller versions of himself that will then attack us. In his EX form, his legs are deadly. He can throw bombs at us, and when we attack him in enough that we reveal his soul, he attacks us with what appears to be bolts of electricity. Now, I don't know if I'm mistaken here, but that seems like a lot of offensive capability for a robot supposedly built for purposes of entertainment. It makes it seem credible that he was built to eradicate humans, but this is almost assuredly a lie. So, what's really going on here? It couldn't be both things, could it? Let's look at the two main possibilities. It's certain that Alphys built Metaton's body in order to help him fulfil his dreams, and the EX form was clearly built with dancing in mind. It makes sense how it would function for the sake of entertainment. What about the various attacks though? The discharge from Metaton's finger and the electricity during the fight with his EX form could simply be surplus energy that the robot ghost is using to attack us with. The jetpack could be for convenience's sake, and it makes sense why he may need one. Metaton is a very popular monster, and he needs to be in a lot of places at once for the various TV shows that he hosts all over the underground. Remember, he has his dance stage within the core and a set for a quiz show, what appears to be a theatre, a news broadcast, and a cooking show in various places within Hotland. Being a robot, he's likely very heavy, and so the steam vents we utilise to cross the chasms wouldn't work for him, making his jetpack essential for getting around. The bombs are a little harder to explain. They may simply be fireworks or pyrotechnics, used to make the show a bit more exciting. As for the little robots that join his assault on you, they could be used for all manner of purposes, perhaps for Metaton's security, or just as a crew that helps make his shows. That's just me trying to justify Metaton's forms of attack though. Maybe it's all the other way around. If Alphys built Metaton's body with combat in mind, then perhaps Metaton simply found that he could use what was supposed to be weapons for the sake of entertainment. Maybe the bombs really are just bombs, and that's what scores Metaton ratings. He'd do anything for the sake of fame after all, and that includes fighting you to the death. What's his Neo form meant for anyhow? It's flashier and more attractive than his EX.
EX form, but why does he have such a high attack stat? Though he overestimates his defence level, why does Metaton feel like he'll be better off fighting you in that form on the genocide path? Could it be because his Neo form really was designed with the purpose of human eradication in mind? Metaton was either designed with features for killing humans, or he wasn't, so which one is it? Well, there's likely only a few real possibilities considering what we've learnt so far. Metaton's body was undoubtedly built to allow the ghost a shot at his dream. The EX form is as glamorous and attractive as it gets, so why would Alphys go to such an extent if she only meant for him to kill humans? At the same time, he seems extremely well prepared for a robot meant for the sake of entertainment. For example, why does a TV personality need to be invincible until a switch on his back is flipped? The different backstories we're told seemingly contradict each other. However, have you ever considered the possibility that they're all partially true? To understand fully, we have to look at Alphys history, as well as Metatons. Alphys is the real scientist, and the replacement for Gaster. Asgore assigned her the duty of finding a way past the barrier, as we discover in the True Lab's logs, and the result of this was her endeavours into soul magic. She wanted to keep monster souls alive once outside of the body, in order to utilise them to somehow destroy the barrier. It seems, while conducting this experiment which led to the horrific creation of the amalgamates, Alphys was also working on various other projects. For example, she designed many of the defences around Hotland, such as the laser systems, which is why she's able to easily hack them. Hacking quotation marks, that is, as really she's just switching them off. At one point, she also had the opportunity to place cameras all over the underground, that she ends up using to observe the human's movements. While she was already in the midst of so much, she also managed to make a body for Metaton. She did this after meeting him at his human fan club, back when he was a nobody, a ghost, and had no reason to suspect he may one day be as famous as he became. Could Alphys have been researching ways of breaking the barrier at the same time though? There's nothing to suggest that the two incidents were happening separate of one another. It's not unusual to make a plan B, when plan A is experimental and unreliable, and what could be more effective for shattering the barrier than a weaponised robot capable of killing humans and taking their souls? Though it's not outright stated within the game to my knowledge, it seems implied. Alfie hints at the true chronology of events when you first meet her, as she says Metaton was an entertainment robot she later fitted with anti-human features. However, we're told this when we're under the impression that Metaton is a once obedient automaton that's gone rogue. In reality, it's evident that Metaton's body was built with purposes of entertainment in mind first. However, perhaps Alfie's persuaded Metaton to have the added weaponry installed as well. Think about it. What did Alfie's gain from her transaction with the ghost? Seemingly nothing. However, maybe Metaton agreed to be part of her grand projects aiming to take down the barrier as a backup to her research into soul magic. He got the body he had always dreamed of, and in exchange, he may have agreed to eradicate humans should he be ordered to. That way, Alphys has a weapon that could act as a failsafe should it need to. Remember, she wasn't always rooting for us to succeed. She only decides she wants us to make it to the end of the underground, having watched us for a while on her monitor. Perhaps the plan before that was to set Metaton on you and have him kill you in order to obtain the seventh human soul required. When we consider what a catastrophic failure Alfie's harnessing of determination resulted in, it doesn't seem so unlikely. So, in conclusion, it's fairly possible that Metaton really was built for both entertainment and human eradication purposes. If this theory is correct, then Metaton got his longest standing wish and Alfie's had something to show to Asgore after her terrible failure within the True Laboratory. It was a win-win deal for them both, though I suppose Alfie's never foresaw that in the future we'd end up stuck watching reruns of Undertale the Musical at every Christmas thanks to her creation. Lastly, to answer your question, Metaton, I really don't think I would smooch a ghost. Who knew that dancing robots could be such an effective piece of military hardware? Not only can he dispatch humans easily enough, but he operates like a 24-7, around-the-clock propaganda tool with his TV network, constantly reminding monsters that humans aren't to be trusted. What do you think? Is this what Metaton was built for, or could there be another reason? Remember, though everyone in Undertale seems to have their own answer to the question, some of them could be lying or not telling the whole truth. Anyhow, as always, I hope you enjoyed the video, try not to suffer a death by glamour, and I'll see you next time.